jazz chords, what I love about them is that there's different forms and each one has a different bass note. Like you can, there's a form with the third, the root, the fifth, and the seventh. So progression D minor seven to E minor seven. You can use the D minor seven with the fifth in the bass to the E minor seven with the third in the bass. And instead of a bass line that goes, you know, it, you have one that descends like that. So it would be, and like if you did it in A minor, for instance, there's A minor seventh, and if you're going to go A minor to B minor, you could use the the A minor that's third in the bass, and the B minor that's the root in the bass. So instead of a, you get a. You know, it it just. Um, allows you to manipulate the bass lines and create new harmonies basically so um, there's there's a million combination once you know all the forms like basically you have for instance F major 7th there's a root in the bass fifth in the bass I'm sorry root in the bass third in the bass um, fifth in the bass and the uh, seventh in the bass so um, those forms can be transferred to major, minor, dominant, and whatnot. There would be F7 instead, you know. And um, you can do augmented really cool. Check this out. That's your typical augmented chord. Do the same chord up here. See that note? There's your seventh chord. There's your augmented. And then if you do it here, um, Here's your augmented chord. I'm sorry, here's your uh, seventh chord. Here's your augmented. So it's the same as, you know, it, um, it's basically, it's a, it's a finger twister for me. You have a seventh chord here, and you just, I flip these fingers around, and you have, um, so, it's the same as, just your bass lines are different.